In today's tutorial, let's do this extra long super scarf. And this is my design and I've taken this from a different afghan and applied it to a scarf. I've just taken the stitch work and made it longer. Let me show you how to do today's stitch. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to do this extra long scarf that you see here. If you love corner to corner, you'll absolutely love this. But instead of corner to corner, we're just going to go in the length ways of the scarf. And we don't have to do very many rows of this because this is extra thick yarn, the Bernat Softy Chunky, using a size L 8 millimeter crochet hook today, you're gonna notice that it's gonna go super, super quick. This is actually just a matter of repeating a certain row over and over and over until you get to the final where we're gonna make it nice and flat. So we'll start off flat, we'll do the corner to corner effect and then we're gonna finish off flat. Let me show you how to do today's stitch. So today's stitch is the corner to corner but done not in the diagonal but done in straight rows. So when we get to the very edge you'll notice that it will go nice and flat. So we're just gonna go in the lengthwise of this. Now I did 230 chains in order to do this entire scarf. I'm gonna teach you a secret on what you need to do to make it smaller. So if you would like the same idea but in a smaller scarf or even a different size afghan etc etc. All you just need to do is chain in multiples of four plus two. So you go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Once you get to the length of the chain that you want, you just add two and then you can start this pattern and be able to be successful at every time. Let me show you what's happening here within the stitch work. So like the corner to corner, what's gonna happen is that you see these four are working together on the same piece right here and it's going this way and then you see the next one and you're gonna see that it's gonna be like a staircase all the way across. When you come back you're gonna be filling in those sp uh, staircase spaces with the next one that are leaning in the other direction and therefore you'll have an extra space left as you go across and when you come back you finish it. So when we do the final row what we're gonna do up here is that we just have to do some fancy footwork but it's not too crazy and it's easy to do in order to get the flatness so that you have a flat side on both sides because that's what people desire the most. So let's begin and start off with the slip knot. So it says in the pattern to chain 230 if you want my exact scarf but I'm gonna teach a smaller swatch of it and if you wanna change the size of your scarf this is when you're gonna do it or if you wanna make this into an afghan etc etc. This stitch work I got from an existing afghan on your inspiration so I'm not the designer of this stitch but in actual fact I've taken it from another afghan to show you how to do it. So let's begin. I'm gonna chain in multiples of four and then I add two at the end and therefore I can change the size. So I go one, two, three, and four. And just a reminder if you want the scarf just chain 230 and everything works out. So one, two, three, and four. And then I go again one, two, three, and four. So if you want a different size scarf whatever this chain is put it around your neck you'll see the length of it and determine when you're gonna stop. Once you're satisfied with that just add two at the very end. So one and two and there is my completed chain. So let me show you what to do next. In so let's begin row number one. Very, very simple. All we just have to do is second chain from the hook. So just count back. So one and two, go to the second, turn it around and get the back loop of the chain only. And I want you to just to single crochet yourself all the way across. That's it. So I told you that there's a flat edge on one side and there's gonna be a flat edge on the other side. And that's because this single crochet is gonna create the flat edge that you need on one side and then when we go to finish it off and I'll show you how to do that you'll get a flat edge on the other side. So just single crochet yourself all the way across your chain. So I'm coming up all the way to the end. I go right to the final. So that is row number one complete. So nice and easy right? So let's turn and work and go for row number two. This is when we're gonna start doing the corner to corner look or effect if you wanna call it. So let's uh, start off first. We're gonna chain one and watch. The next stitch over, not the same one, but the next stitch over is what we're gonna do all our work in. So in the next stitch we're gonna single crochet. So just go right over to it, single crochet. And then I want you to chain two. One and two. And in that same stitch I want you to put four double crochets in there. So one, two, three, and four. Easy right? So it doesn't look like it's gonna lean over yet but watch. You're gonna skip the next two stitches. So skip the next three single crochets. So one, two, three. So skip three, go to the fourth one over and I want you to single crochet into that one. And we're gonna begin again this and see how it just pulled it over to lean? That's what you want. So, you so now you're gonna start another one that's leaning over. So chain two, that's how you do it every time into the same stitch right underneath is and then you're going to do four double crochets. So this is two, three, and four. 
just like that. So skip three, one, two, and three, go to the fourth, like so, and then begin again. So remember, chain two, one and two, same stitch as where you are, and four double crochets. So one, two, three, and four, just like that. So you got your four in, and then go into the very last one with a single crochet. That's how you do it. Okay, so it looks like it's leaning over. Remember I had said that there's staircase steps? It's stairs, see it? Now let's move along and go to row number three. For row number three all the way to the final until you do the final edge is that it's always gonna be the same. So watch how we do it, okay? So we're gonna chain up three. So we're always gonna start up by chaining three to begin on row number three. So one, two, and three. Same stitch of where you are you want to put in four double crochets. So one, two, three, and four. And watch what we're gonna do now. The stitch under, the row underneath has these steps. So you're gonna just open up your hand here. This is the chain two. Put your hook right into the space and I want you to single crochet right into the space itself and you're beginning to do a new one. So it's just like you were doing these other ones now and now we're gonna begin normally. So you're gonna chain up two and into the same space you're gonna put in uh, four double crochets. So one, two, three, and four. See it's just like uh, um, corner to corner. So reach to the next one. See, it looks like steps. Just go into the last space here. This is the chain two. Single crochet into that chain space and then chain two to begin another one. So one and two and then four double crochets right in there. One, two, three, and four. Just like that. And this is your final. So because you have nowhere else to go, the final stitch is just a single crochet right into the last chain two space. That's it. Okay, it kinda looks awkward right now, but it's not. So watch how it balances out next time we do this round. So we're gonna do round number three once again. So let's turn our work and repeat. So we keep repeating round number three until we're done. So remember, it's chaining three to begin. So one, two, three, and four double crochets right into that same stitch right underneath. So one, two, three, and four. Then go up, you see it's leaning on its side. Here's the chain two space. Just go right into there and single crochet and begin again. So this time it's chain two. So if you're not on an edge, it's always chaining two to begin and then four double crochets into the same chain two space. So it's three and four. And you keep moving along your scarf. So just look, it's leaning over. Here's the last one. That's the chain two space and begin again. So chain two and this is your last one before you hit the edge. So you just have to be conscious on your edges. That's all. No big deal. Just like that. And then because this is your final, because if you go anymore, you're not gonna be in balance, go right to the final chain two space and put in your, your um, um, single crochet. So this is what it's gonna look like all the way across. So you see that you can see it leaning over one side and then the other row, it leans to the other side and it does have three dimensional properties to it. You'll notice that the stitch work actually comes out. So let me show you how to do the final uh, row because if you want a flat edge, you can't leave it like that. So let me show you how to do that next. So let's turn our work and let me show you how to finish off this if you were to get it to be flat. So what's gonna happen here is that you're going to ignore the single crochets that are right here. You're only gonna concentrate within the four double crochets that you have put into all of that. Okay, so here's four and there's four. So this chain two space, you're gonna ignore it for the final. So let's begin our first one. We're gonna chain up three. So one, two, and three. And so we're gonna use double crochets in order to have long stitches and as it comes up, it's gonna get shorter and shorter and we're gonna compensate for that and then we're gonna jump over this chain two space and the single crochet and begin again. So what's gonna happen now is that we're going to start balancing it. So the first 
double crochet down here you're going to double crochet. Okay the next one you are going to half double crochet. So just working along the top we're gonna half double crochet the next and the final two double crochets that are left you're just gonna single crochet. So one and two. So you're gonna skip over this chain two space and the single crochet and double crochet right into over here. You're gonna think it's wow it's a long way away but if you push everything back in balance you'll notice that it's really not. So coming back down here you're looking for the four double crochets so this is one. So you're skipping over the chain two space plus the single crochet going right for the double crochet right here. And you're gonna double crochet. The next one will be half and then two single crochets in a row. Do you see that? So there's only four stitches technically. So as we finish up then you're gonna go along the top area like that. So as you finish up just go right down to this first one. So you're gonna double, uh, double crochet. You're gonna half double the next. And then the final two are gonna be single crochets like that. Does that make sense? And that's what it's gonna be and it's kind of really kind of cool and that's all you just need to do to bring it back in balance to make this extra long scarf. So you have a flat edge and a flat edge and then all your fancy footwork in between. Until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. Have a great afternoon and we'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.